these are 3x mustad hooks just in case it's like triple strong and still got bent out by that damn jack Here we go, y'all. Ready to go. Spanish mackerel have been seen. They've also got one right over there. They said they were jumping. Welcome back to the Surfside Jetty. We got a beautiful morning. The winds are, are blowing pretty good, but the surf is uh, pretty much laid low, so that is a good thing. With Spanish mackerel in the area, it's only a matter of time before we start seeing some jacks. I'm still trying to go after those fellas. That's what I truly want to catch. See if we can make it happen today. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Holding on too long and unresolved questions hold you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on We've been going at it with the two ounce spoon for a little bit and yeah, no bites. So what I'm gonna do is rig up our smaller setup right here. This should be a little bit easier. I don't have to really cast much line out. We just want to go out towards the edge of the rocks. Right there. And just count that fella down. Felt my shrimp kick. I didn't feel him kick, I just felt him get eat. Like that dude just got ate up. Seriously got ate up. First cast, I thought I felt the shrimp kick. Yeah, I'm gonna cut mine. They ate him up. I'm gonna chop mine into a smaller piece and see if that works. That's what people were doing last time. I'm gonna hook him through the mid body. All right, let's think about this. I want him to be able to kick still. See if this will work.
Oh my gosh, those guys. Tell me they ain't. I mean, look at that. All right. I hooked them in the head. They went after the tail. Hooked them in the tail. They went after the head. Yeah, what? There's a bait fish. A bait fish? Hmm. Oh, he's a good one? This little guy. See him? Oh, yeah. That looks like a, a king mackerel freaking... Uh... <laughs> yeah. That's king mackerel fry. Yeah, I know. There we are. Um, Got him. It could be a wait. It could be a wait day. Got any quick shots? Um, uh, I do, but I was going to look at it. I was just going to look at it. It looks like a sheep's head. <laughs> I got a bigger one. Yeah, sheep's head. There we are, y'all. First fish of the day. Nice little sheep's head. Nope, do not go down. Oh man, I got him through the eye. I don't know. But it was right inside the eye. There was do we no. Do have any smaller? Do we have any one ounces? I do, yeah. Uh, it could be my retrieve, but I think I'm just doing a straight retrieve, right? Pretty much. Yeah, if you twitch it, then chances are he'll cut you off because he'll miss your spoon. Oh, there we go. There we are. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose it. The past 10, maybe 15 shrimp that we've been using, they keep getting off the hook. I'm gonna use a different one. Let's see what my son's got, because I didn't bring anything out with me. So he's got these two. I was using this right here. I don't know what the heck. Keeping you hooked. It's a one eye live bait circle. This one's just a regular J hook. Like an O'Shaughnessy or O whatever. I'm going to put this one on. Hopefully this one's going to do the job. I mean, as soon as I see the float go down, I'm going to have to set the hook to avoid gut hooking anything. I got him on that O'Shaughnessy hook. Too small. Yeah. No, nah, he's too small. I mean, he's right borderline. Boy, it feels so good to finally catch one of these turds. Here we go. Get that out. Let's go put this guy over here to this side. Nah, he's too small. I did. I put him on the on the bag. You want me to tie it real fast and you fish with this real quick? Uh, you have to. You have to. Uh, I mean, I, do you think I should use the twenty or the thirty? I mean, just use this, just really quick. Well, just I would just do the twenty. Okay. I don't know where it's at. 
You have to set that hook, son. You know, it's a circle hook. That one's not. I put a J hook on it. Is that a popping up for real? I, they uh, caught a, I don't know. I'm bullshit. They caught a 23 in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you were the fish. Nah, he's got a fish. It, it, it is a popping up. It is a popping up. Yes, it is a popping up. When they run up and down like that, it's a good problem. Do that thing like Slide them on the rock, steady. Going over that way. Nice. Keep reeling it in, son. Dude, that is sick. Let's go, man. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. First pompano, Kevin. First pompano. I gotta get this through. Got it. <laughs> hey, check it out, uh, guys. This is what I said earlier in the video. We there literally got go. everyone out here. Awesome. Third coast, my dad. Yeah, get Kevin, get there, Chris. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Oh my gosh. Is he a keeper, yeah? Yeah, they, they're not regulated yeah. here. Guys, this is but that's still move. a good one, too. I'm a good walk good. Here we are, got him. Yeah, nice one. Oh, I've been wanting to catch one of these for the longest time, y'all. There we go, finally got one, y'all. Yes, baby. Let's go ahead and bleed him out and we'll get him inside the ice chest. The, Get them? Yeah, where's the knife, Betty? Oh, nice. Uh, which one? It doesn't matter. I just need to bleed them out. You're not gonna stab them? Yeah, I will. Is but, my camera going? Uh, no. Chill, bro. Alright, John, check that out. The first Spanish right. mackerel of the day. Good. Let this fella kind of bleed out right there. All right, Christian just caught himself a nice sized one. So what I'm gonna do is, while he's dispatching that and taking care of it, I'm actually gonna use his setup since it's got a lot more line than this tiny little ultralight with only about 40 yards I'm gonna of cast braid. This, cast this one out while I'm dealing with the uh, fish. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. I need you to send me the uh, smoked, the smoked cheese dip mm. recipe. Oh, that's what you do. Yeah. Because I hate Spanish mackerel, bro, but I'm not gonna, they're gonna die. Right. You put them back. It's fire? Well, Grandpa's coming over on Thursday, so. I wanted to make some sashimi. Here we go, y'all. that off bottom? We got a lot more line and we can like really zip this out there. There we are. That's like double the distance just right off the bat. First cast, just like that. All right.
You mind doing this one too? Yeah, that's fine. It's going right down the neural canal. Oh, okay. Works like a charm. They're super soft. Yeah, they are. The, like the meat. They're like Spanish. They remind me of how delicate trout are. Yeah. Bro, look, he almost straightened up the hook. <sighs> look at that, y'all. There we are. That didn't take long at all. Oh my gosh, he's taking some drag. Nice size sheep's head. Waiting for the next swell so we can get them up closer to the rocks. All right. There we go. Definitely a keeper size. We've already got one in the bag. So this guy is going to get to live to fight another day, y'all. There we go. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, whoa, bro. Hey, dude. Gosh, bro. No. This guy. What the hell? There we go. Oh, dang. It's a Spanish mackerel for sure. Yeah. He was pulling really hard. Like hard enough to make my uh, dragon gauge. That's a nice one, too. It's almost literally one cast after the... Look at that. Right. Oh, man, he just got off. But it's like one cast after the other. They are just taking shrimp like crazy. First, it was all the spoons, and you had to get it way out there in order to get that bite. But now we're, i mean they're right up against these rocks and it's making it too easy for us oh my gosh okay let's put this guy away all right well what do we got a big old huge spoon that's all we got left y'all i'm not about to start slinging that so i think that's going to do it for me i came out unprepared and uh yeah i should have known better to bring a 500 series spinning reel out here but that's what I grabbed because I thought I was just honestly going to go after sheep's head right up against the rock's edge and it was anything but that phenomenal day we'll come right back out again as long as the weather holds and the water temperature stays the same we want that mid 70s I mean anywhere near the 70s is going to be perfect 
but today it was just absolutely phenomenal. The winds cooperated. The only ones that didn't show up were the jacks. I would have loved to have had an opportunity to go after those guys, but sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. They may be here tomorrow, who knows?